Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, guys, are going to be looking at a pretty fun idea here using a Dragalge with uh, Koga's Trap. It's kind of a little combo. Uh, Dragalge has the attack Poison Cultivation. If your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, you um, put 10 damage counters instead of 1 on that Pokemon in between turns. So if we use Koga's Trap as a way to just auto-poison them, we also then confuse them, which means they might not attack. And if we have an Absol or 2 in play, they can't retreat their Pokemon, and they're stuck in the active, and then they get knocked out by Poison Cultivation. That is the whole idea of today's deck, is combo Koga with Dragalge. It's an interesting rogue idea, um, and it's kind of fun to play. So yeah, that's kind of it for the archetype here. So before we end the video, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Card Driving TCG. As always, if you're looking for these show codes, get them over there. Right now, they are doing a Black Friday Cyber Monday special right now, where you can get up to 50% off on PDCGO code. 50% off is just insane. That's an insane deal. I've already picked up myself quite a few codes. So if you guys are trying to get PDCGO codes for really cheap right now, well, the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales going on, get them over at Car Cavern TCG. Get those codes for cheap. And of course, use code LDF if you get any codes there. It's insane. Up to 50% off is a very good deal, so make sure you guys go check out Car Carbon TCG and use code LDF for the checkout. So yeah, looking at the deck here. So it is a bit of a fun idea, um, not too competitive. This deck takes very big L's to Mallow and Lana, which unfortunately just happens to be one of the most popular cards in the format right now. So that's one of the sad things about this deck, is Mallow and Lana is very relevant and very hard to be deal with. Um, but outside of that, eh, we can try to win the game. Our draw engine is going to be Zipstrika. I tried out the birds, but the birds kind of sucked. So I was like, Zipstrika is probably better. Uh, we can sprint, because we're just trying to hit Kogas as much as we can. We have ways to get it back like Palpad. We are playing Mewtwo in the deck with Mind Report, which just puts Koga on top of our deck. And then we can draw with Stellar Wish, Poke Gear, or Zipstrika. Um, and uh, putting 10 damage counters on Poison Pokemon in between turns is actually really powerful. We can combo this with Dust Island, which is kind of dust, because... Chaotic Swell is also very popular, so it's kind of hard for this card to stay in play for a couple turns. But if it is in play and they do Malo and Lana, then that Pokemon is the new Pokemon still gonna be poisoned, so it really doesn't matter. I don't know if um I don't know if uh, Poison Cultivation still carries the 10 damage over with Dust Island. I have not tested it yet. We'll see though, I guess, in the video. But just them staying poisoned is still really relevant regardless of you know what happens. Uh, we got Ditto in the deck, two twos of strike, two Absols, again, another great card is Absol being able to put your opponent to an extra retreat cost, means they might not even move after we poison them. Uh, we got Mewtwo, I'm playing Nihiligo, so we are playing Psychic types, and we can also use Nightcap here, and Void Tentacles also poisons and confuses them, so that's kind of relevant, I think. Um, we got two Jirachis for setup, that's it for the Pokemon. You could try out Baby Blue Cephalon, but we're already playing 19 Pokemon, so it's a lot to have. Going to the items now, I am playing a Great Catcher, still good to play. Four treasures, four Pokecoms. I am playing two Palpad. It might be a little heavy on the Palpad side, but we always want to get Kogas back. And if your opponent's constantly playing Switch and Malu and Lana and Dust Island's on play, we need the Kogas. So we're going to at least try two Palpads to get them back. We got four Poke Gears, of course, to find our supporters. Four Pokecom, three Dust Island for our stadium. I am playing a Brock. I'm playing two Cynthia, two Caitlyn Cynthia, another great card in this deck, allowing you to get a Koga back into your hand when you play this card is amazing. Four Koga's Trap, of course, to poison them. One Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. Uh, this is kind of cool. I mean, it's pretty easy to fall behind in prizes. So we can play this card to do like a Koga and then like a Caitlyn Cynthia, get the Koga back. Just some really cool combos you can do with Surge. Uh, three Oak setup. This is how we're going to try to set up our board. We just Oak. Oak will get us Absol, Blitzel, and uh, Skrelp. We got two Escape Boards. Two Spell Tags. I want to play four Spell Tags, but I cannot find room for any more Spell Tags. So we're going with two today. But Spell Tag does allow us... Of course, they knock us out. Four damage goes on the board. Uh, this is pretty good against, like, the Pidgey matchup. We got six Psychic Energy to round out the energy. Since we have Brock's Grit, we only really need six. I don't really think we need any more than six energy. But yeah, this is the Dracology deck. And while it's not anything super competitive, again, it takes very fat L's to Mal and Lana. But uh, other than that, this deck could be kind of fun, and we could win games and punish people for not having many switches. All right, guys, getting into the first game here. And it looks like we're up against 80p, possibly, which is definitely going to be interesting. Because of Malone, because they have so many Malones and switches, this matchup is pretty bad, but who knows? Maybe we can make something work. I doubt it, but you know what? You gotta have confidence, man. Never lose faith. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna get a Ditto Blissful Start. We're gonna start with Ditto, I think, because we do have Dragalgy. We have Koga and Dragalgy in our hand, which is pretty good. We have a Pokey Gear. Hopefully that gets us Ogre Cynthia. 
Yeah, they're playing ADP. And they are going first, which I don't like either, because they're most likely then going to do a turn two altered creation, which is not good either. They're playing a tag call right off the bat. They could be getting a um, Malolana here. No, they're going to get a Guzman Hala and a Cynthia Caitlin. That's not bad because then we don't have to deal with Malolana right away. But again, they have so many switches, probably doesn't even matter. They're going to Water Energy that. They're probably going to Goose Mahala. Oh no, they're going to play the game with Cynthia first. Okay. Going to get rid of another ADP. Kind of wish that was on the bench. So that we can bring that out. But uh, we'll see what happens here next. Will they do anything else? They're going to bench a Jirachi. They might switch into it, which they do. Okay, so that's one less switch we have to deal with. Which is sort of relevant, but... Because they have Stellar Wish, they can get, like, anything they want. So, like, it really probably doesn't even matter too much. But we'll see what we can do here with our Poke Gear and our Draw. If those... If our Poke Gear and Draw are good, that'd be great. And they pass. Alright, let's see what we draw. Oh, energy, yes. Because I really need all that energy. I have to take Caitlyn Cynthia for now, anyways. So not a great pokey gear, but whatever. Uh, if we can get Zip Strike here, that'd be good. <laughs> no, we pretty much get like an identical hand to what we just had, which is always fun. Guess we'll just Psychic the Ditto and pass. That, uh, not looking too great. We have a Koga and we have Poison Cultivation, so we can definitely start to poison this, but we need to get like Absol in something. We didn't get a Zip Strike either or a Oak Setup to try to help us out. Those are some cards we also would have wanted to see. So they can get a Stadium, a Tool, and Special Energy. So they can get a Rainbow Energy, a Unit Energy, and a Chaotic Swell. Chaotic Swell is pretty bad, because when they do end up like switching their um, ADP, and without, without Dust Island, they don't stay poisoned. Chaotic Swell just ruins this deck, kind of. Not really, but like, Dust Island is pretty important, I think, to deal with those switches. So the fact that this card is a thing, it's not very good for this deck. ADP is pretty much just built to beat this deck, in my opinion. It's, like, pretty much built to beat it. Like, they have all the answers. They have a lot of switching cards. They play Chaotic Swell. There's nothing you can do. And they can also make it to the point where they take two prizes per kill. It's like, <laughs> this game is pretty... This matchup is pretty much impossible to win. And considering how trash our start is here, I don't think we have much long to last. We'll have to get rid of the Escape Board. Try to get another Skrelp. We can Koga them. They have five cards. It is possible that one of those five cards is not a switching card. I don't like my odds, though. But uh, we'll hit him for 100 damage. And if they stay poisoned, they knock, they get knocked out going back in their turn. Alright, six cards in their hand. What are the odds one of those is a switch? They play two tag calls, too. So they don't have immediate access to Mallow and Lana, which I like. We'll see what they get here. Yeah, they had the Malawana. Yep, and that's where I concede. ADP. Not gonna beat it. Any rogue deck you try to build will not beat ADP. Just auto-concede. Unless they get a bad start. Or you're playing Gramble. That's the only rogue deck that can beat it. Uh, did we run into another ADP deck here? We might have. That's kind of annoying. I don't want to play against ADP today with this deck because I'm not, not feeling it. Might be Dark Box, though. Judging from all the types, it's looking like Dark Box. Okay, this is a lot better of a start than the last game there, where our start was kind of trash. This is looking a little bit better. We'll see what they're playing. Yeah, it is Dark Box. Okay, Dark Box, not too bad. They do play Mallow and Lana, but like most... I mean, a lot of decks will play Mallow and Lana. There's nothing we can do about it. But they don't play Chaotic Swell, I don't think. I might play Dark City, though, which is even probably worse than... Because Dark City, I think, would give T-Tar Fruit Tree. And actually pass. There's a Cynthia. Okay. We'll Stellar Wish. We get an Oak Setup. I will take that. We can sit on this hand, too. And then hope that we can get a Dragalge next turn. That's likely. Let's get these three guys in play. The yeah, Absol definitely helps a little bit. This forces them to have to switch. They could be playing stuff like Super Scoop Up, though. You never know with Dark Box. Dark Box can be kind of tough to 
kind of navigate what they're playing exactly. We'll see if they get an attack off this turn. It's possible if they get an insane red and blue into a Naganadel, which they do get the red and blue. So they could actually get a greedy crush crush off this turn, which would be kind of big for them. But this thing is pretty bulky to retreat. So if we can maybe get like another Absalom play next turn too, that'd be really good. They are gonna do the red and blue. And they get rid of the energy, so they're really banking on the fact they have a perfect hand here to knock out my Jirachi with Greedy Crush. We'll see if they have it. Alright, they needed a Nagandadel here. Yo, if that last card's a Nagandadel, I'm done. That would have been like the most perfect hand they could have asked for. Especially because now they got the Weavile. I forgot, forgot to mention they also need to get Weavile into play. Alright, no Whammy as in do not get Nagandadel here. Okay, maybe they didn't get it because they had to poke here. Really hope they didn't get an Aganadel here, so that they don't attack me. Well, they have the Dead A change. I'm fine with that. Dead A was something we can maybe trap. And they actually get rid of a Mallow and Lana. That's a really good card to see get discarded there, because that means they have one less out to Koba's trap. That's really good. That is really, really good. They might be playing more than one Mal Lana, though, which is not really good, but I will take it any day of the week. We just hope that they didn't find an Aganadel here. If they did have Naganadel, that would be a big turn for them. Because in one turn, they got four energy into play, which is just bonkers. Okay, they didn't get it. Nice. We still need to move Jirachi, though. All right, we'll treasure away a treasure. I know it's a kind of weird combo to do. Ooh, only one escape board. Yeah, Jirachi's not moving anytime soon, I don't think. Yeah. I think we just Koga them, force them to like have to play a switch or something. No Dust Island kind of sucks. I guess we had an energy we could just retreat and went for Poison Cultivation. This is fine though, this still forced them to do quite a bit, they have to get 5 energy on to retreat. They probably have a, they probably will get a knockout this turn, like I'm, I'm pretty confident they'll have a switching card here. There's an Aganadel, they must have just draw, drew that, that's pretty sad for them. But not bad, not new, not too bad for me. So I'm definitely gonna be expecting a switching card here. Yep, there's the Maulana. But at least they're not gonna be healing with it. Which is good. Will they, will they heal? Are they actually, will they, I mean, they can do that with Solvalia, I guess. Combo that. Okay, they are gonna heal, never mind. The damage doesn't matter, obviously, but making them play a Maulana there is really good. Because we weren't even getting damage on them anyways with uh, Drake Elgy, so it's not even a big deal that they're doing this. We'll see what they attack me with. Mo <coughs> Most likely so volley. <coughs> they do bring in the Weavile though. Oh, and they do play Chaotic Swell! That is very annoying. I was so confident they were going to be playing the Stadium and of course they played in their deck. And they're actually going to be doing a Claw Slash here. That is super annoying. Man, this deck just can't beat these these decks, man. I hate playing rogue decks now. <laughs> no, I don't, but like, this this stuff starts to get on my nerves. All right, hopefully we can draw a Lieutenant Surge or a Zip Striker. No, we drew an Oak. Just doing nothing for us. Oh, I guess we got the Koga then. If they couldn't move, that'd be great, because they would actually still- they would stay poisoned. I think there's a, uh, Dragalge in Expanded from Flashfire that makes it so poison Pokemon can't retreat. That would be a pretty good card to play in this deck. Unfortunately, that card is Expanded only. Oh, Dragalge in Expanded might be decent with Ver- Ver-, Ver ugh, Verbank City Gym and Laser. It's a lot better than having to rely on Koga. Maybe we should look at this card in Expanded more like- but Expanded has Guzma and Ace Rolla. Uh, so I don't really know if it even matters. And they have Float Zone. But Standard has Malolana. Pick your poison, I guess. So they can retreat here. They're not a basic, so they can get past Absol, right? Yeah, this is really not good. 
We need to get a Substrike into play, but we just can't get there right now. They might even Dark Moon me here. Which it looks like they are going to do. Weavile can always get knocked out down the road, possibly. Maybe. Alright, let's see what they do here. They're moving all the energy to the Darkrai. Or are they just going to attack my Black Lance? Yeah, they're going to Black Lance me. So this is where things get a little tough. We have no other Dragalge. We probably have to just sacrifice something here. We're probably going to give up another Skrull. I guess we can Poison Breath them. Just Cynthia and kind of hope for the best. Got Jirachi. No Zipstrika though, which is a little annoying. There's nothing to Great Catcher either, which is not very good. When we have the Coca Dragalge, I guess we'll just save the hand. There's no need to do anything else. We can poison them next turn and confuse them. Maybe we should try to up the Lieutenant Search count to like 2 to 3. I'm actually starting to think that's a good idea. Maybe take out a Palpad and throw in a, uh, another Lieutenant Surge or two. Maybe we'll do that after this game. Maybe this deck just needs more Lieutenant Surge to be able to get better combos off. I think that actually... Maybe we should take out Spell Tag altogether. Because I'm actually just... I don't know. I. Yeah, you know, maybe we should just take out Spell Tag from this deck. I'm kind of liking that idea. We really wish we could play Reset. Maybe we should add 2 Surge and play a Reset Stamp. Because they most likely have a switch in this. Like, <laughs> this is not going to matter for us at all. They most likely have a switch here. I, we can knock out the Weavile, obviously, but... Well, actually, no, we couldn't. We're one... Well, I guess we, we didn't mention this, but... We'll just hit him for 100 with the Poison. I'm fine with that. He can always retreat. He has to give up 3 energy, though, which is good. He can knock me out with Silvali. I think we should maybe up the Lieutenant Surge count in this deck. Especially after this game. Lieutenant Surge would have been big to do multiple supporters. And only having the one is not really doing us anything. And they're just going to get back Mallow and Lana. Yep. See what else they do. Sucks we never found a Zipstrike of this game either. But there's no good way to find it. There's just no good way to find the the thing. Oh, he's actually wait, what? He brings in the T Tar. Okay. I don't really know what that is doing for him. It would have been so nice too, because if we had the Dust Island in play, he would have been still poisoned, but fortunately uh, this garbage is in play. Not gonna get anywhere with that game. Okay, so going into the next part of the video, I have decided to take out Spell Tag altogether. Throw in the extra surge. Um, took, yeah, took out Spell Tag, threw in the Surge, threw in a third Cynthia for safekeeping. Actually, too, we got a third Full Art Oak as I was doing that. One of my trades went through. So now we have three Full Art Oaks to work with. So now we're going to be a little more blinged out. And hopefully the double Surge is what this deck was missing. We're up against Mewtwo here. Cross Division is definitely scary, but we can do 80 damage with, um with uh, Dragalge, and that's kind of relevant, I would say, because all the poison damage, 80, you know, 280 damage in total, and we're gonna get an absolute scrub start, not too bad at all. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is cross division. That's the only thing that can hurt this deck, is cross division. We'll see if that matters. But we do have Koga and Dragalge, no energy though. And they start with Mewtwo. I was hoping they would open with a Dedenne or something, but they open with Mewtwo, which means we're in trouble. I'm tempted to just to Koga's them right now, in all honesty. I don't know. We have the Dragalge. We can Koga them. I'm, I'm very tempted just to do it now. Just to confuse them. Alright, there's a Dedenne. Hopefully we see some switches and Malolanas go bye-bye. No, but they do lose a Jirachi, which means we can hit them for 80 with Sharp Fin. And we can also use Nyla Higo and copy Maraca's duo now. So there's one of our other win conditions. 
They got three energy in the discard too, which is kind of good. Maybe. There's that turn one welder cheese. Wish I was going first here, not gonna lie. Yeah, I think we gotta just Koga them. That's like our best play here. And there's an energy. And there's a tag call. But they can't retreat to Dene right away because of Absol, which is good. There's that SB Oxus cheese. Hmm. I think we'll treasure away the Brock. Get another Skrelp. Here's some Strika. Hmm. Rip the Oak setup dream. Right, let's just get another Skrelp and play. Just in case we get knocked out or something. And pass. This will force them to do a few things here. They can welder to the Dedene if they want and switch if they have both those combos in their hand. It's a good thing they can't do cross division and knock us out completely. But once we get this guy in play, we don't have to worry about cross fitting too much because they can knock out Absol, but they can't really knock out this. So I think this did anything. They're going to mention Jirachi, which means they have the switch in their hand, or they're just going to retreat. Well, okay, they had Mallow and Lana. Still, though, Absol's in play, which is going to make it so Jirachi can't move, most likely, which is still good. Unless they hit a switch. Hopefully, that's the only Mallow Lana. I have not looked into Mewtwo at all recently, so I have no clue how many things Mallow and... Or how many Mallow Lana's Mewtwo plays. I'm assuming they're playing, too, like most other tag team decks. We'll see. Yo, if they had a switch in their hand too, that'd be so cheese. And they're gonna Dedene. I think they're really digging for a switch here. Oh, they still have Welder. Oh no, they don't have Welder. What am I saying? They already did Malolana. I really hope we can survive the turn here. I really hope Skrulp lives. I don't want them to get a prize this turn, so hopefully they don't. Again, they can't, they have to find a switch specifically because of Absol. Great catcher, that's not doing anything for them because we don't play any GXs. This is good. This is a little bit better. You know, and before they just had the switch in their hand, they're like, nah, you know, I'm playing, man. I had the switch all along. Yo, do they have the switch? Because why else would they be in Sogaleo if they didn't have Switch? Okay, good. They didn't have it. You love to see it. And we can get a Blitzel down. Cool. I could also get another Absol. Uh, there's no point. We'll just get a Blitzel. I don't want... Th they could... They're probably going to cross vision me next turn too, which is super frustrating. I'm going to evolve the active just... Well, I guess I should have evolved the bench. But whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, ooh, Dust Island. And yeah, we're definitely going to get rid of that. We don't need to do, um, we don't need to attack them here. I'm just gonna pass. I guess I shouldn't evolve the active in case he does. Yeah, you know what else? I should just evolve the bench crop. It's fine. We have a, we have a Zip Strike and we have Koga in our hand. So we're chilling. Still though, cross division is still very scary. They could do a Caitlyn Cynthia's turn and get that Mallow Lana back, which would be pretty bad. We have Viridian. Now I kind of wish I attached my energy because I didn't. I wasn't expecting a Viridian though, but we can definitely take advantage of Viridian Forest here. Down four energy in the discard pile, but they have Sogaleo. They're going to be looking for a switch here. They didn't get any energy. Maybe they're out of energy. Might have prized a few. Alright, let's see what they do here. They can Stellar Witch to try to get their switch. Ooh, a weak guard energy? Okay, that's gonna make it harder for Nalihigo to deal with that. They concede the game. Oh my gosh, they conceded. And we can't see how many switches they had. Alright! We won a game with the deck, albeit not the most effective win, but I'll take a win any day of the week. It's hard out here making videos on rogue decks nowadays. 
So I'll take what I can get. Are we up against another Mewtwo deck? They have a Psychic and Dark deck here. So I don't really know what to expect. But uh, hopefully we can get a nice game once again. And get that nice turn one Oak set up. But we don't have a basic in our hand. This would have been a good hand too, I would say. Well, actually, no, maybe not. Have it. We had the Koga, we had the Surge, but nothing else really to work with. But we started with Jirachi. That would have been perfect. And all right, we get double Skrulp start. We got a Poke Gear to try and dig for a Oak setup, which is cool. We'll see what they're playing. A Psychic and Dark deck. Could be Malamar. We'll see. Malamar's not that bad, actually, because... Well, I guess... Because Poison bypasses the spell tag. They're playing a Weezing deck. Okay, then. Um, Do this. No, didn't get an Oak setup. Now nah, we're just gonna... Just gonna Cynthia, then. Just get a nice new hand. There's an Absol. I guess we'll bench that. We can also Pokecom here for Blitzel. No Koga, but we can knock out the Coffin with uh, Sharp Fin, which seems fine by me. All right, let's see what they do here. I don't know what they're playing exactly. I guess like they're playing Weezing with like an Absol or something. I guess there's no there's no like other weird combos. So I don't really know what they're playing here. I gotta get I gotta guess they're playing Absol with Weezing. Ooh, spell tag. Okay, so we can still knock him out. I don't really think the spell tag damage matters too much. I'm not playing Weezing Volcarona. So I don't know. I have no clue what this is. It's definitely a Weezing deck. And I get I mean we are weak to we are weak to psychic, which is sort of relevant. Okay, let's see what they do. No, just a foul loader. Okay, cool. So I, I do want to, <laughs> I do want to poison them here. We can't really do that with our hand though. I think we just Caitlyn Cynthia and knock them out with the uh, sharp fin. Hey, there's a zip striker. Do we want to sharp fin them, or do we want to? Do we just want to wait? No, I think we just knock him out. Yeah, I think we just knock him out. Well, they could spell tag me, put me to 40, and then Wheezy knocks me out. Maybe we shouldn't have knocked him out, but I, I still think it's fine to knock him out. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with knocking them out here. We need prizes, and we need to keep up in the prize trade. Considering they can wipe out our bench with Weezing if we're not careful. We don't play Mew in this deck. They would need a pretty good hand here to do a lot. Because they could put 40 on me, knock me out with Splattering Sludge. They're actually going to hit different things. Okay. They can knock out the other Skrulp, I guess. Mewtwo's great. We can get another Dragalge or another Skrulp and play. If they do play Absol, we can't bench Jirachi. Which, I mean, we don't want to mention anyways because it's weak to Weezing. Speaking of which, they do have the Weezing. Do they have the Welder in their hand? That would really suck if they did. Because I don't want them to knock on my Skrulp. But we can always Pokecom for a new one. We can't play Lieutenant Surge. So they could have actually knocked me out here. If they put the spell tech damage on me, but they're just going to choose not to. Can we draw a Koga? No, we do get a Dust Island, though. We'll play that. So we can... Try to poison confuse him here. We have three Kogas in the deck. We'll see if we can get one here off our Poke Gear. If not, we'll just sprint. Alright, sprint it is. We are gonna dump a Cynthia and a Surge. We didn't get the Koga. There's none in our discard. But we did get the Koga. Alright, beautiful. Poison Cultivation! And they get knocked out going back into my turn, which is good. Maybe I should have benched the Mewtwo. I don't want to have it in play, though, but I, maybe I should have, because then I get the Koga back. Okay, now, I'm pretty sure they're not playing Malolana in this deck, so at least we don't have to worry about Malolana this time around. They probably don't play it. Now, they could still attack me, possibly, 
if they do attack me, they can get very lucky with their splattering sludge. They do hit a wheezy off that Poking Nav. Wow. If they have a switch and a welder here, that's gonna trigger me quite a bit. Okay. There's a treasure. Again, they could go for an attack. I mean, they kind of have to, because they're gonna get knocked out anyways. So they can, no, they're not gonna attack me. Okay, they're just gonna let us knock them out. Cool. We can take a sharp fin knockout too, which is cool. There's another Dust Island. All right. This game is going a lot better than those other games, but we're, I don't I don't really know if we're up against the most competitive decks. Um, let's do Caitlyn, Cynthia, get the Koga back. We'll get rid of Jirachi, get the Koga. We're just looking for another Dragalgy. There we go. Beautiful. Things are falling into place. You'll love to see it. I should probably retreat. Just so I don't get knocked out by wheezing. Okay. <laughs> the deck's playing a little bit better for us in this game. Though we're not up against a deck that spams Switch and Mal and Lana, which is helping us quite a bit, obviously. We'll see what they do next. They do have wheezing energy in their hand. That is definitely a given. So they can attack me. There's a Pokey Gear. Get some Cynthia. No welders to be found. That's good. Spell take would be interesting, but we're gonna poison them anyway, so it probably doesn't matter too much. And we can actually probably just go Zipstrika here too. Which is probably what I'm gonna do. We need to get more scrapes. There's a spell tag. But again, we can bypass that thanks to poison cultivation. So it's all Gucci. Uh, Absol and Substrike are getting weak though. There's a Ditto, which I think we will bench. Because we're just going to assume that they don't hit off of their uh, confusion. Let's try to hit an Oak here. Nope. We'll just Substrike and dump the hand. Try to get more Screlps. Not bad. We did get one. Might even use Ditto for a second Substrike, just because Substrike is actually getting kind of weak. They can attack me with Mew next turn, but they can't knock. They can't knock out too much, thankfully. So this is a big turn for them. If they hit heads here, this is going to be devastating because we're going to lose three Pokemon, four Pokemon. They're going to take four prizes if they hit heads on Confusion here, or they have a Switch and an Energy. So I'm like actually nervous they might get a knockout here. I'm actually a little nervous. This is going to be a big turn for them. They are down three coffins, so that's also pretty good. It's going to be hard for them to get another Weezing in play. And let's see here. Are they going to go for the Splattering Sludge? I mean, I would. They're going to get knocked out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Mm, looks like they're gonna maybe retreat the wheezing. Yeah, that's fine. I think they can attack me with Mew here, which is a little annoying. Oh, they're playing Spiritum. That's interesting. Wish I played my own Mew in this deck. You have a Mimikyu. I'm not too worried about Spiritum. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, we can just knock it out with Sharp Fin a lot of the time. <laughs> or Poison. Okay, and before he has a Switch and Energy in his hand to, uh, Splattering Sludge. Because again, Splattering Sludge would ruin me. I don't even think I can win at that point if he gets the Splattering Sludge off here. And he doesn't. Okay, so he can do Psy Power, which is gonna help a little bit. Actually, wait, hold on a minute. Oh, with the effect of a Trainer card. Ooh. I was going to say, because they retreated the Weezing, why was the Mew not poisoned? But Dust Island only applies for Pokemon that switch out with Mallow and Lana. And they're actually going to knock me out here, not even deal with the other Dragalgy either. Interesting. So I think we go for a Brock. And then Sprint. Sure. Hope to find energy here. If we don't find energy, that's actually going to be really bad. 
Okay, we didn't get it, but we did get the Striko, which is perfectly fine. We could actually do a little bit here. We can try to thin to the best of our abilities. Evolving that Skrulp is pretty important, too. We're out of Poke Gears. That's good to know. All right, we're going to draw four cards. We got to hold one of those four cards in energy. It is nice. And sharp fin. Good thing he didn't have a spell tag on. That would have been pretty bad. My opponent can still take multiple prizes here if he wants with Weezing. Um, yeah. We do have a Koga though, which we'll probably just play so we don't have to worry about the poison. Or we don't have to worry about spell tag. He does put the spirit to enrage again, sharp fin. I like that. I like that quite a bit actually. There's a Lily. They haven't. They only did one welder this game, so I don't know where all the welders are at. So we'll get two prizes here. We'll poison knock him out, and then we can finish off one more spirit tomb to win the game. That's going to be our game plan. This is actually going to be a pretty close game. A lot closer of a game than I actually anticipated it would be, but uh, I think we're going to come out on top of the dub here. See what we draw. A perfect. So we could just straight up go for the Koga. I mean, nah. We're not even gonna bother benching that Nightly Higo. What are we looking at here? Another drug. Galgy's always good. Might as well bench the Absol. No, we can play Mewtwo. Yeah, let's get Mute. Let's play Mewtwo, and uh, put back a Cynthia on the top of the deck just so we have a Cynthia in our hand after we do Sprint. It gives us the best outs to find an energy is probably just Cynthia. All right, cool. Looks like we're gonna be able to win this game, guys. You kind of see how the Dragalgy deck works. If you get multiple Zebras online, you can do a lot of sprinting. You try to loop Koga. And there's the energy. So as long as he doesn't, even if he stamps me to one, we have double Sprint. I don't see how we're losing this. So yeah, it looks like we're going to come out on top of the dub here, guys. I guess the matchup that, like, I mean, probably should be pretty easy for you. I mean, we won two games in a row, and I think if we win this game, which we probably will, we will actually be able to get um, five Cosmic Clips off the ladder, so we can open up those to round out today's video, which is going to be pretty sweet. But yeah, this deck, it's a fun idea. I really do like the idea of doing 100 damage with Poison. It is really cool. Comboing it with Koga to also confuse them, I think is a really cool idea, but unfortunately, guys, this deck just takes too many L's to cards like Mallow and Lana. Too many decks are playing them right now, so it's just really hard to beat. But I do think this deck is fun to play, and um, if you don't worry about Mallow and Lana all the time and the deck works for you, this deck, I think, is really fun to play and really quite cool. And there are our five Cosmic Clips packs. We're going to open them up and try to pull... Full art tag team supporters, those are pretty much, and secret rare tag call, I don't have that yet. I need to get a few of those, but that's what I'm looking for in today's packs. And then I'll run out of today's PC Geo video, guys, with the Dracology. It's a fun, cool idea, but again, with all the heals and switches right now, it's, this deck is just, it's too hard to work, but it's still a really cool archetype, regardless. Um, but yeah, make sure to check out Karkov and TCG, and make sure to get that on that Cyber Monday Black Friday special they got going on right now. Make sure you guys get on that. Get all get get a lot of codes. You can get as much as you want because they're on sale. They're really cheap, and uh, it is definitely worth it. There's a crowd on I didn't have. Reversal Sneasel is pretty cool if we want to play Weavile. But yeah, also make sure to follow me on Twitter down below. Subscribe to the Road Reaching at 72 or 7300 subs. And hey, look at that. We pulled a full art Mega Low Punny Jigglypuff. Not bad. Okay, I don't know how many packs I have left. All right, we got one more left, I think. Yeah, we got one more. All right, so this is going to be our last pack, and then we'll end off the video. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video on Dragalgy. The games might not have been super amazing, but the deck is kind of hard to work in a meta with Mallow and Lana. And hey, we got another GX pull. All right, no full art tag team supporters, but uh, it's all Gucci. All right, we'll catch you guys in the video.